Hi everybody and welcome to this week's edition of Property Chat. We've just had the announcement Theresa May is going back to Brussels to renegotiate the agreement. Well, what does that do to the impact of the property market? Well, it's not good news, I'm afraid. And the reason it's not good news is this. The market craves certainty. We all want to know which direction we're going in. A lot of us don't actually care <laughs> which direction in the end. We just want certainty so that we know what that direction is. And what this does is just prolongs things. And we hope that that can be fleshed out very, very soon and we can all have some certainty in terms of the direction because that's what the market really craves. I think it's what the country craves, to be honest with you, but that's a frustration. Wouldn't be right of me to do this show without mentioning Maggie Mansell, our local councillor, who sadly passed away and we had the service yesterday. Um, great respect and love to her and her family and condolences. Fantastic councillor, did so much for the people of Norbury. Now on to other business. Vegan houses are the new thing apparently. Meghan Markle has recently requested that the nursery is decorated in a vegan colour, whatever a vegan colour is. Um, what is vegan decoration? Apparently it's a thing. Paints with not using animal products and the like are the things they're talking about. Other than that, more pensioners than ever before are now getting mortgages. Uh, this is interesting because it wasn't that many years ago that pensioners couldn't get mortgages at all and now there's over a thousand products out there for pensioners to obtain mortgages and prolong uh, those mortgages rather than sell up and perhaps move to something smaller. So good news for the older ones amongst us. As far as the buy-to-let market's concerned, we're looking at a raft of new legislation this year as last, most of which is not great news for landlords. But actually, the professionalisation of the sector is a good thing in the longer term. Yeah, we've got the fees ban coming. Um, we've got the Fitness for Habitation Act as well. Uh, landlords are going to require to be part of a redress scheme very soon. And that's going to be mandatory. All these things appear to be bad news. But what they do is they thin the sector out of the amateurs and leave the professionals behind in the longer term. So we suspect that in the longer term, this will be a good thing in terms of landlords. Um, unfortunately, in terms of tenants, not great news. You'd think on the outside of it, wouldn't you? Good news for tenants, the sector's being professionalised, but the reality is that a lot of the landlords that do an average job may be pushed out. Um, and that's what the government's intentions are, I think. But I think where they're really missing the point is that if you're going to do that, you need to replace those homes um, and they're not replacing those homes with anything affordable for tenants. And that's really frustrating. And for me, it's especially frustrating when we look at our high streets, because if you look in the high streets, the average high street has got a vacancy rate, which is massive. All of these shops could be turned into homes if the government would allow them to do so. And uh, they're putting restrictions in the way still. And that seems a really strange move to me. Uh, well, we'll keep you updated with the news as and when it trickles in. Hope you've enjoyed this week's edition of Property Chat. We'll speak with you soon. Take care.